It's often said when you're speaking about a photographer like Cartier Brisson, oh, he was in the right place at the right time, but it's a skill and a talent to know where to be. Cartier Brisson traveled to Delhi in January of 1948 to meet and photograph Mahatma Gandhi. And they had a well-documented meeting where uh, Cartier Brisson showed Gandhi some of his photos, including one of a hearse, and Gandhi asked, what is that? And uh, Cartier Brisson explained what the function of a hearse is in Western culture. Gandhi replied, death, 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 almost foreboding what was to come for him the next day. The photo that we're looking at shows Gandhi's secretary, Bridge Kishan, grieving over the first flames of the funeral pyre. And behind him, uh, Gandhi's doctor trying to quiet the crying crowd. One of Cartier Brisson's great strengths is that he's able to photograph events like this at close range, which conveys a sense of emotional intensity. With his light, nimble camera and his sensitive orientation, he was able to take photos of uh, Gandhi passing away and his mourners very unobtrusively in a way that was considered respectful and deferential to the magnitude of the situation. Cartier Brisson was adamant that his photos be shown in full frame, meaning not cropped. And he was so militant about this that when he had his photos printed, including the ones in the exhibition, you can actually see a small black border around each of the photos showing that it is the full frame of the photo. He's famous for what he termed the decisive moment, which is the exact confluence of a moment when all of the elements in a specific frame in the photograph line up. There's a girl walking through the frame who's facing in the exact same direction as the lions in the wall mural. There's a, another parallel in another plane between the man sleeping and two dogs laying beneath this cart. The takeaway of this exhibition is how relevant many of these political events that Cartier Brisson was a witness to are increasingly relevant in our world today, including the plight of refugees, religious tensions, class issues, tensions between urban and rural. There are several photos in this exhibition that I just look at with wonder of like how is it possible that he could have taken that image.